Recently there have been some rumours that NWI are working on a new game. Sandstorm has been out for almost five years now, so I think this is quite likely, and they are due another Insurgency game. Sandstorm is a great game, I've been playing it since the beta, but there are some things that I think they missed out on, so I would like to make this a wishlist video to show what I would like to see in the next game. I've made this list here, so I'll just go through the sort of main points that I want to go over. Competitive mode. Now, competitive mode was actually in Sandstorm at the very start, but I believe they removed it in 2019 due to low population. Now, I think if you want to retain players in competitive, you need to give them some sort of incentive to play it. The problem with Sandstorm was that there was really no point to playing competitive. It didn't reward you with anything, so people just stopped playing it. Perhaps if you could unlock exclusive cosmetics or something when you reach a certain rank in competitive, then maybe that would incentivize people to play it more. And it is a shame that it got removed, because Insurgency does have... I mean, albeit quite small, it does have a competitive scene. Custom servers. Now, this is another thing that I would really like to see, and I know you can make your own server in Sandstorm, but it was really complicated and it's not very user-friendly. Although I don't really like Rainbow Six Siege that much, it does do custom servers really well and it's really easy to set up. So I wish something like that was implemented in Insurgency, so you could do 1v1s with your friends and so on, or just play alone with your friends in a server full of bots. Another thing I would like to see is the return of Night PvP. Night PvP was in Insurgency Source and it was really fun there. Um, but when they added it to Sandstorm it was only in co-op. They did bring it to PvP for like a short time, but it was as a limited time sort of playlist. Um, that was another big shame. It just it felt like a bit of a waste, the night update, because they added so much stuff. They added all these night vision goggles, all of these IR lasers and all that. And then they only made it so that you could use them in co-op. It didn't really make a lot of sense. And I think they were kind of worried that people would be adjusting the brightness or gamma on their monitors to get an edge over people in PvP. But I say if it worked in Source, then why can't they just bring it to Sandstorm? So I really hope the next game has night PvP. It's a lot of fun. I hope they keep the design of the next game realistic, as I feel like Sandstorm kind of drifted away and made it more casual, and some of the cosmetics they were adding were really not up to what we expected from Sandstorm. At its core, Insurgency is meant to be a realistic game, or at least grounded in realism, so having cosmetics which reflect that is really important. Another cool thing that I would like to see is multiple voices, different voices for the security and insurgent forces in the game. Now, Day of Infamy had this, and if you're wondering, Day of Infamy was the game before Sandstorm. I've made a video on it, actually, if you want to see it. But yeah, I feel like having different voices in the game would really change things up a bit, and it would make the world seem more believable. Because right now in Sandstorm, you only have the American voices and the Arabic voices for security. So it would be it would change things up a bit, I think, if there were more voices from different countries. And it would make the world seem a bit more believable. Because in Sandstorm right now, you're just hearing the same voice over and over again for different people in the game, so... It would add more variety. Something else that I would like to see in the game is a more in-depth weapon customization. Now, I don't know how viable this is, because it might change up the gameplay a little too much, but if we could have something like the Modern Warfare Gunsmith, I think that would be pretty cool. I think a lot of people would like to mess around with different weapon configurations and all that. So it would be cool if we could change more things like the pistol grip, the stock, the barrel and all that. I would also like to see more character customization, like different backpacks and different vests. It would also be cool if we could have a country flag on the uniform as a patch. This might be a bit controversial, but I think adding a medic class into the game would be quite cool. It'd be good if we could drag down players just like in Squad or Battlebit, for example, and heal them. I think that would encourage teamwork, which is a big part of Insurgency, but again, I'm not sure how viable that would be. I hope they slow down the pace of the next game a little bit, because in Sandstorm it kind of went more casual than Insurgency Source, and the movement feels really quick in Sandstorm compared to Source. Keeping the movement slow in an FPS game allows people to be more methodical and tactical, which is what I think Insurgency should be about. So I hope they keep the Commander and Observer role. Commander's probably my favourite class to play in Sandstorm. I just like calling in fire support, it's so cool. I really hope they keep that. Originally, Sandstorm was supposed to have a story mode, but it got cancelled, unfortunately, so I wonder if they would bring a story mode back to the next game. That would be really cool to see, but I do understand if they don't do it, because they just want to focus on multiplayer and co-op, which is fine. But a story mode would be much appreciated, I think. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my ideas that I've had for the next Insurgency game, and leave any ideas that you might have in the comments, and I'll tell you if I think they're good or not. 
So I'll see you later.